some of my fondest memories of your career were your time as King Booker. King of the world. I'm going to put you on the spot the here. The most noble, the most majestic, the most yeah. royal king of them all. I'm going to put you on the spot here. How important was your wife, Queen Charmel, to that gimmick? That's not put me on the spot, man. <laughs> That's my queen. <laughs> no, man. I can honestly tell you that uh, without Charmel, that would have never been a King Booker. Never. Because that wasn't my thought process or anything like that. That wasn't my, you know, a master plan that anyone came up with. It was real. It was real as it possibly could be because you know, in the locker room, in the back area, in the catering area, when I would talk about Charmel, I would always refer to her as my queen. No matter what, before King Booker ever came along, she was my queen. Um, if anybody, you know, stepped to her the wrong way, they had to deal with me. You know, so, no, I, that's the way I feel about it. I remember one time, uh, I was doing this angle, and um, it was a cage match. And um, one of the agents, I won't mention any names or anything like that, you know, they wanted to do this angle, and they wanted Charmel to actually climb up the cage, you know. And I say, Charmel is not doing that. And they go, well, why not? And I go, because she's my wife, okay? That's why she's not going to do it. She's always... Uh, been there for me in, in every sense of the word uh, and, and when, when um, literally Charmel and I got married and our anniversary is coming up here in a couple few days uh, 15th anniversary uh, I literally I literally went into the office and had a, a conversation with Vince McMahon and said hey man I'm wrapping it up um, I don't want to do this anymore and um, I appreciate everything that you guys done for me and it was like what, what the hell what's going on you know what's the deal and um, and I was like well you know just got married and I don't want to end up you know anything happening and he goes well you know, well, let's hire Charmel <laughs> so I'm like oh we got another check <laughs> he, he like, yeah and I'm like okay I can stick around you know brought Charmel in and, and everything just clicked everything was right um, we literally was partners. We really was like Bunny and Clyde. And then um, the King of the Ring thing came came um, came around, and you know, lo and behold, you know, how would you like to become the king? Uh, it was great um, I'm doing it with Charmel. But honestly, guys, I don't think you know the King of the being king could have literally left an asterisk on my career. I don't think being king was something that was, you know, made to say, hey, man, let's put you on top or anything like that. It could have went totally the opposite way, but I feel like in this business, when you get something, it's up to you to make it what you actually want it to be. So giving me the, actually the role of King Booker, I was like, oh, my God. This, I'm thinking about Hollywood calling. I'm thinking about producers, man. I'm thinking about I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an audition every week, you know what I mean? And something good is going to turn out of this. And, and, and that's what happened. Uh, King Booker, um, I had a guy by the name of um, Brian Gerwitz writing for me at that time. And he would write stuff for me. And he would just let me take it and make it whatever I wanted to make it. And it was such a great chemistry, me being King Booker and being able to um, create. That's what I tell young wrestlers, man. Be able to, you know, try to create. Try to find you. you know, try to try to make it as big as you possibly can. It's always going to be over the top. You're always thinking about the guys way up in the cheap seats and how they are, are, are looking at this. For me, that's what King Booker was. It was the greatest time of my career, especially being with my wife, because um, a lot of times, man, I was so tired after those shows. I put in so much work, and every time. No matter how far we had to drive, my wife would always kick me to the side. She'd take the wheel, make sure I got there, made sure everything was taken care of as far as getting to the hotel. I couldn't have did it without her. So, no, you ain't put me on the spot, man. That's just real tough.